hello guys welcome to my youtube channel again and in this video we are going to solve a problem that is equal left and right sub very sum it is the 51 interview series question question number one and uh, we have to find the index where the leftmost and rightmost part have the equal sum like given an array of uh, a of n positive numbers the task is to find the first index in the array such that the sum of elements before it is equal to sum of element after it like here the one and three are four and after five there is four so our index is third so our index is one base so we can say that one plus three is equal to four then five and two plus two is four it means our this part and this part have equal sum that is four so you can just directly return this one so the approach coming into my mind is uh, using perfect sum what we will do here we will just let me show you uh, through paint we will do here we will just make an array of size n and we will make like two arrays in the first array we will start our uh, start our sum from first index like uh, the test case let me take the test case here our test case is this one this is our test case so what we will do we will just find the sum and store it into the uh, array so first one we will this is prefix this is prefix and this is suffix so what we will do we will start from first element then we will store the first element as it is then we will start adding it to the next element like 1 plus 3 that is 4 then 4 plus 5 is 9 then 9 plus 2 is 11 11 plus 2 is equal to 13 right and in the suffix sum we will start adding some from the last index right from the last index so here what we will do in this we will just add our sum into this like we will start we will just uh, put the last element as it is and then we will add some so 2 plus 2 is 4 then 4 plus 2 is 9 then 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 and 12 plus 1 is equal to 13 so we will start loop from here and we will see that which index having uh, as the sum equal to so at index one this one we are getting the same sum so we, we will just directly return this element this index right so we'll directly run this element this index so this is our approach so let's start coding so first of all i will make an array name prefix of size n and prefix of zero will be array of zero the first element as it is then we will start our loop from index 1 i plus plus and what we will do with that our prefix of i will be prefix of i minus 1 plus array of i so here like this here this is prefix 0 then prefix of i is equal to prefix of g prefix of i minus 1 plus array array of i so add a prefix of i minus 1 is equal to 1 and plus array of i so it will add this one and thus another index prefix of i is equal to prefix of i minus 1 and plus array of i so like this we will doing so this and similarly we will make a array name suffix which which will store the elements suffix 
which, which will store uh, which will store the sum from the back side so suffix of n minus 1 will be array of n minus 1 and now we will start a loop from i is equal to n minus 2 i less than uh, i greater than equal to 0 and i minus minus and suffix of i will be suffix of i plus 1 plus array of i right uh, why i write this let me explain you through pain so the la the suffix of last index of suffix will be as it is then here suffix of i will be suffix of i plus one that is i plus one is here and plus array array of i so it will be like this and this is suffix of suffix and now suffix of i this at this index let me change the color now at index this Suffix of i will be suffix of i, pl I plus 1. So i plus 1 is this one. So 4 plus array of i. That is 5. Okay. So like this I am doing. Now what, what we have to do. We have to run a loop from i is equal to 0. i less than n i plus plus. If prefix of i is equal to suffix oh five we will directly return that i plus one because indexing is one way so we will add one and if no any other uh, no uh, any index found then we will directly return minus one as it as it is written here return minus one if no such index exists so we'll just directly return minus one let me run it so our expect uh, this is our output and the real output was 3 okay so let me submit it so time taken is this one and uh, i go 2 out of 30 because i am solving this question after the contest so it is on practice section now so i got so i hope you got this approach and which is in n time complexity is big of n and it will be happen only in big of n no there is not any uh, complexity which is less than n me but i solved it using big of n and if you like this video please share and subscribe my channel thank you